G'day guys and welcome back to Ados the Great YouTube channel. So guys, in today's video, I'll be giving you my round 23 AFL tips. Very excited to be able to bring you this video today. If you do enjoy this type of content, please hit that like button and subscribe. All right, so I'm not going to review how I went in round 22. Still going to do accountability. So we'll go through and you guys can see who I backed in round 22 and uh, yeah, who I got wrong. But uh, if you want me to bring back reviewing each game and uh, my thought process behind it and what happened in the game, more than welcome to, would like to say, what a comeback by the West Coast Eagles. But uh, yeah, we're going to skip that. We're going to go straight into round 23 tipping, starting off with Friday Night Footy, Marvel Stadium, Essendon Bombers against the Sydney Swans. Now, look. Sydney should win this game, but uh, this is sort of a danger game for the Swans. They've definitely fallen off a bit of a clip, a, a clip, a cliff as of late. Um, you know, they were, I think they won last week, but they were lucky to get the win. Yeah, they just beat Collingwood last week, so pretty lucky to win there. Um, you know, I do think they probably win this one. I'm not confident in it being a big scoring game. I would say maybe by. 11 is what I'm thinking. Um, but, yeah, I do think that uh, the Bombers could give them a good run for their money. And the Swans, not looking as much as pre premiership threats as they were probably about six, seven weeks ago. All right, next up, we've got the Suns against the Gold... Uh, sorry, the Go we've got the Gold Coast Suns against the Melbourne Demons. This game is the one of the two earlier games on Saturday afternoon. So, Suns' home game, they win most of their home games. They lose all of their away games, it seems. Um, so, look, I Melbourne, realistically, probably should win this. But at the same time, like, the Suns have been killing it this year. At home, that is. I do think they continue that trend and they get the win here. Um, but I wouldn't be surprised if, like, this game, this one is sort of those that one to two goal margin. <laughs> All right, next up, the second of the early games on Saturday, we've got the GWS Giants taking on the Fremantle Dockers. Um, Fremantle have a tough couple of games. They could miss finals. I don't think they will, but there is definitely an opportunity that Fremantle could drop out. Uh, with that being said, look, I think the Giants are primed for a top four finish, uh, which surprises me because I actually had them falling out of the top eight. Um few weeks ago so you know I think uh, I think Freo this one will be still a very close game and Freo will give them a run for their money I think at NG Stadium the uh, the Giants probably do get the chocolates in that one all right next up we've got the Collingwood Magpies against the Brisbane Lions at the MCG oh, I think this could be uh, game of the round sort of stuff here for the uh, the Lions and the Magpies uh, Lions fighting for a top four spot. Collingwood fighting for a top eight spot. Um, I think the Lions will uh, will definitely be up for this one though. After you know, look, the last few weeks haven't been great for the Lions. Like the, they got a good win against the Saints. Don't get me wrong, but then you know they lost to the Giants this week after getting off to a really good start. So you now I think. Collingwood will give them a fight, but I do think the Lions win that one. All right, next up, we've got Port Adelaide against Adelaide, uh, obviously Adelaide Oval. Um, look, I think Port Adelaide win, and I'm going to back Port Adelaide, but you know, the, the Crows tend to play pretty well when they go up against Port Adelaide. I don't see the Crows winning, but I do see the Crows making this one a very entertaining game. And instead of giving you a 1 to 39, I am going to give you a points margin for each of these team and each of these games at the end of the video. Alright. Next up, we've got the St. Kilda Saints against the Gito uh, against the Geelong Cats. So I cannot speak today. Do not know why. Um, St. Kilda against Geelong. Look, this one should be a very um, high scoring game for the Cats. St. Kilda are in all sorts at the moment. I don't see them doing well at all. I think the Cats will put on a little bit of a score against them. Bulldogs North Melbourne, Marvel Stadium. North Melbourne coming off that disappointing loss to the West Coast Eagles. Uh, Western Bulldogs, I believe, coming off a win last week. Let me just double check that. The Bulldogs... 
No, they lost to Adelaide. That, actually, yeah, no, that was a disappointing result there for the Dogs. I think they're going to be pissed off about that. I think they're going to want to bounce back and get a good win over North Melbourne. Uh, Hawthorne Richmond, pretty simple tip here. Backing in Hawthorne all the way to beat the Tigers. And then I'm backing in my West Coast Eagles at Optus. You know, they were brave last week. I reckon they can get a couple more wins to end the season. I'm backing them in to beat the Carlton Blues. All right, so let's go over these tips, guys. Swans by 11. Suns, I'm going to say by 9 points. Uh, Giants to beat uh, Fremantle by 16. Lions to beat Collingwood by 15. Port Adelaide to beat Adelaide by 22. Uh, Cats to beat the Saints by 57. Uh, Bulldogs to beat North Melbourne by 51. Hawthorne to beat Richmond, I'm going to say by 73. I think it'll be a very big win there for the Hawks. And then Eagles to beat Carlton by three points. They're my tips for round 23, guys. Let me know yours down below in the comments. Thank you all so much for tuning in. And as always, my friends, I will see you in the next one. Thanks, guys. (laughs) 